if I can just have everyone's attention for a couple of minutes. I um, want to welcome uh, Dr. Bachman from uh, Duquesne University. Dr. Bachman is the director of the Institute of Forensic Science and Law and the Masters of Science, Forensic Science and Law program at Duquesne University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Prior to, come, excuse me, prior to becoming the director of the Forensic Institute, Dr. Bachman served 10 years as the director and chief toxicologist of the Allegheny County Medical Examiner's Office, Forensic Laboratory Division in Pittsburgh. Dr. Bachman is a longtime faculty member at Duquesne University, serving as department chair of pharmacology, toxicology, and teaching courses in pharmacology, toxicology, quality assurance, and laboratory management, and drug chemistry. <laughs> he is the author of a number of scientific presentations and journal articles in the area of forensic sciences. He also serves as a board member for the American Board of Forensic Toxicology and is a past member of the Drug Testing Advisory Board for the Department of Health and Human Services. So I'd like to welcome Dr. Bachman. Thank you very much. I, I don't even have to say anything now. <laughs> but I want to thank thank uh, uh, everyone for the invitation to come and speak today, particularly uh, Dave Exline. I've known Dave for a number of years, and uh, uh, when I asked him, you know, what you know, what would he like me to comment on and talk about, and, uh, and he said, uh, well, you know, one suggestion might be, you know, a little bit of history or. Uh, how things have developed uh, over the years from a forensic standpoint in, uh, in this area, Allegheny County, Pittsburgh, and so forth. Uh, because uh, the way I see it, we've been, uh, we've come a long, long way. Uh, uh, I uh, just mentioned to somebody just here a few minutes ago, they asked me how long I've been at Duquesne University, and I said, uh, a long time. Uh, and, and I'll relate the same story. Uh, I have a colleague of mine that whenever he's standing close by and somebody asks me the same question before I can even respond, he immediately says, so, well, Fred's been there since Christ died. Uh, I thought, thanks, Doug, you know. Meantime, you know, now he's the dean of the pharmacy school, so I give, I give him hard times. But uh, I can remember a day, I can remember a day uh, in my uh, forensic experience when uh, I was working as a, a, a technician in the uh, laboratory uh, behind the uh, autopsy room in the uh, county morgue. Uh, and uh, uh, at that time, uh, the very first uh, coroner, who was a physician, uh, was uh, in charge of the coroner's office. And uh, I don't know how it happened, but we did get some funding to buy I think uh, maybe industry uh, was more well equipped, but from our standpoint, it was the very first time that there was a gas chromatograph in a laboratory in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, and the uh, physician was uh, taking some people around, showing them around, pointing to it. He says, Oh, look at this. He says, We got a new piece of equipment here. And he says, We're going to be able to run potassiums on here. And, Oh, that's, that's not quite the way oh. we use that word. <laughs> but uh, but any, in any event, uh, uh, I was uh, I should say that I was uh, I was very young. I was a graduate student at that time. And then as things uh, evolved, I remember the uh, uh, first opportunity that we had to actually uh, get a, uh, a GCMS. County was uh, going to uh, put out the funds for buying a GCMS, and uh, there was a little bit of a controversy because at that time the forensic laboratory at the morgue was separate from the forensic laboratory that was the crime lab, and so uh, the controversy was was who's, who was going to get the funding and who was going to get the piece of equipment, uh, and so. Uh, I think what happened was the crime lab won out. But it wasn't long after that that uh, uh, Dr. Sarah Wecht uh, became 
uh, one of the uh, three commissioners in Allegheny County. Uh, and the next thing, next thing you know, the forensic lab uh, in the coroner's office and the crime lab were united, uh, and they became one. Uh, and uh, shortly after that, they renovated the basement of the uh, uh, city county or the county office building, and the uh, laboratory then uh, was in that facility and uh, uh, was known not only as the we referred to it, or I referred to it as the forensic laboratory, but it was also known as the crime laboratory. Uh, and it continued to be there for a number of years until uh, we found out that it was necessary for uh, a, a new facility. Uh, funding was uh, arranged, and uh, I was very, very much involved in, in, in the design uh, and uh, planning etc. Uh, but uh, I retired from that position like uh, about 12 months before they moved into the new facility. So occasionally I go down and visit and sort of say, oh, this is pretty darn nice. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, but along the way, uh, in terms of other uh, things that were going on in the Pittsburgh area, uh, obviously we had uh, uh, R.J. Lee for a number of years, uh, looking at very specific types of uh, uh, analytical methodologies uh, from a forensic standpoint. Uh, and uh, a chem image, of, uh, uh, probably for maybe uh, more than 15 years or so. Uh, and then, uh, and, and I think that from uh, what I can see, and I've looked very, very closely at uh, uh, the website uh, at uh, Gateway Analytical and uh, discuss some things with uh, Dave. I think that there's definitely an opportunity uh, and the uh, uh, capabilities and uh, expertise that, that are here, not only now but going forward in the future, I think that there's definitely uh, good opportunities for not only uh, this kind of a, uh, an effort from a uh, private standpoint, uh, in contrast to public uh, uh, laboratories, uh, but also with uh, collaboration with uh, educational institutions, uh, not only uh, Duquesne University in, in, in the immediate Pittsburgh area, but also uh, various other schools. Uh, we, uh, uh, I've had an opportunity to uh, discuss uh, a, uh, a joint type of uh, research uh, uh, meeting and uh, presentation with uh, the other uh, accredited uh, forensic programs in the state of Pennsylvania uh, and where we're located in, in uh, uh, southwestern Pennsylvania, the opportunity might even arise with uh, other schools that are close by here, West Virginia, Virginia Commonwealth, schools of that nature. Uh, and I think that uh, that going forward, uh, things such as the National Academy of Science report uh, emphasizing the need for uh, scientific validity in forensics, forensic science, I think there's going to be an awful lot of opportunities. Uh, and so. Uh, and uh, it was interesting, just recently, uh, uh, we're, we're at the university, in the, our program, uh, we obviously uh, uh, look for uh, students to apply to our program, to be accepted to our program, to come to uh, Duquesne University. And uh, uh, this year we had uh, a pretty good number of applicants. but. Uh, uh, and the, there's a deadline for ap our applicants to, uh, uh, you know, to submit their uh, uh, deposits. And so uh, just recently I was uh, uh, taking a look at all of the, the students and, and, and uh, sending out a, a short note and letter and so forth uh, to them. And uh, uh, I started writing it and working on it and then I had the help of uh, my administrative assistant 
and uh, uh, I got to the point where I started talking about all of the aspects as far as the advancement of forensics and so forth, and then I finally said, well, i got to make this short and to the point. Uh, you know, we're, uh, congratulations, we're very glad you got accepted to our program, and we're going to be looking to see you in the uh, fall semester. <laughs> but uh, and with a little bit of additional information about uh, our accreditation. Uh, so, uh, as you can tell, I can continue talking forever, uh, and particularly about forensic and forensic sciences, uh, and maybe that's uh, reflective of uh, uh, how old I am. I'm only 45 years old, by the way. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'd also like to recognize, uh, I, 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 I just noticed that uh, it joined us, but the uh, dean of the of the uh, School of Natural Environment Sciences, uh, uh, Dr. David uh, Seiber has joined us. And uh, uh, I'm sure he's going to be here for a little while. And if you have any questions about anything, any kind, any of the programs that uh, are at Duquesne University, uh, because uh, uh, it gives me great pleasure. When people ask me how long I've been there. I've also seen a lot of changes there over the years. And, uh, uh, it's it's very very pleasing and I'm just very very glad to be part of that. And I want to congratulate Gateway Analytical again and congratulate everybody that's involved with it. And uh, Dave Xline, uh, Dave is uh, also uh, an adjunct in our program, uh, adjunct uh, professor, and uh, uh, he's been very very helpful uh, as far as uh, advisement to me uh, in the program, but also. To many of the students that he's been interfacing with. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>